That's a, uh, yeah. That's <laughs> an introduction. Phew. I think that's it. Sorry, I was late. Look at that. <laughs> Look at the drip on him. Beast, huh? This is Bella Box boss. What? <laughs> hey kids, it's Bang Boom Nose time again! Yay! Why do the kids look like that? Don, those are children. <laughs> this guy is just... He wants none of this right now. He's done with his life. We're on air, Leon! Leave your silly dreamland! It's time to bring in today's guest! Um, no need to... Oh, this guy! Already here. Yeah. I've got a number of copies you. of you. Well, guess we can't rely on Leon today. In that case, let me welcome our guest! Mr. Anton from Bella Something Industries! Bella Bog <laughs> Industries! Yep. I'm already here! It's Bellabog. Bellobog. Bellabog Industries. Bellobog. Bellobog. Let's announce today's topic together. A comparison of the Metro reconstruction proposals of Bellobog Heavy Industries and Vision Corporation. Huh? Wait, what? <laughs> that must be a mistake. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was wondering. It's such a complicated topic. In my opinion, as far as reconstruction plans go, I think Bellabog Industries is better. Why? You see, Bellabog's biggest advantage is its technology. Why does he have CEO on his pants? Smart construction machines for in hollow use does he just that can effectively resist ether corruption and work safely in the hollow. How do you know this? You're Bellabog two years old. Bellabog is able to effectively use the old metro infrastructure in the hollow without. Hey, it looks like eight or seven. Compared to Vision, Don, Bellabog's plan reduces the actual cost by 21%, environmental impact by 53%, and increases infrastructure usage how, by 75%. How does he know these percentages? How the fuck does this kid know that? <laughs> You're like a real expert. Wow, Bellabog's awesome. It does sound superior. I thought so from the start. <laughs> See, Is like they don't even know. Really better? Hmm, that's hard to say, Roar. The mm -hmm. pros and cons of the proposal depend on who it's for. Passengers want a brand new safe metro system. Not some half-hearted refurbishment, Roar. Is he gonna get beat up by the kids? When did you sit down with the kids? Get back to the host table. Mm. Using the old metro infrastructure may seem like a more economical and environmentally friendly solution, but it is also more time-consuming. And who knows whether Bellabug's machinery can actually work in the hollow? Roar. In my opinion, this is just a makeshift plan to cover their financial shortage. Vision's demolition plan was better and safer. Did you not? Wow! Vision is awesome! It does sound superior. I thought so from the start. Why? That's exactly what you said a second ago. You want to talk about safety? Vision is a corrupt company <laughs> that wanted to hurt civilians to cut costs. I was about to say, everyone knows so that. Vision is the villain. But is Bellabog really the hero? You don't know, do you, kid? There was a serious scandal at Bellabog a few years ago. Hey! Yep. What's that Ooh. supposed to mean? Oh, calm down, Mr. Anton. Don't startle the children, Roar. Enough with the act. Let's see your real face under that mask. Oh no. Huh? What? What? What the? You're actually a lion? How? I mean, <laughs> I mean, so bears I'm do exist. Intended to be something I'm not. Unlike somebody who is the president of an emerging construction company on the surface. But behind the scenes, they're running away with the money. <sighs> well, 
Well, that was a complete mess. I'm surprised they aired it. I'm wow. wondering the same thing. Why did they bother airing that? Okay, I do. I do want to say something, Don. And I know you're bad at bunny uh, button mashing, but one. Anton's also not bad. Not bad of a character. Nothing Anton, easy. the guy with the drill. Let's get to work. He's not bad of a character. See, there's a problem with that. He has to mash. I know. No, look at my oh. money. Oh. Well, just farm money then. I don't have the battle pass. I said farm money. You can farm money with birds. I have birth been birth farming birth. money. <laughs> then farm more money. Did you not play FGO, Don? Do you not understand the QP problem? No, I actually don't. I haven't had a QP problem in over three to four years. Well, now you have it with ZZZ. <laughs> By the way, we're the best of friends, everybody. Yeah, we're the we're we're, we're close friends. We're just little shits to each other. Oh <laughs> well, yeah. Huh. Yeah, I think it's later tonight. Yeah, it's late. It's later tonight, but we, but we will get a monthly reset. All right. So you what will. do I get? Excuse me. Wait, another one. Yeah, Any corn. 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 Yes. yes! I only need I one know. more. Speaking of which, I need to do multi here. I'm sorry. She is easily the hottest girl in the game, I and I love that she's free. Well duh. Looks I was gonna say, you see where that mole, you see where that mole is, right? Yeah, I definitely see where that mole is. Yeah, it's under her eye. You guys saw I got C1, uh, Lycone. Yeah, I did. Congrats on that, Lane. Yeah, anyway, congrats. Anyway, keep staring Lane. at me, Nicole. I am your bottom bitch, and I will do as you ask. Oh, uh, you, uh, you know, you know, she's gonna ask you to pay for her stuff, right? Implying this is a problem. So you're saying you have money then? Yes, I have money. I run okay, the KGE. Then, okay, then buy me a new computer. Look, Josh, I know this is hard to understand, but my simp money for Nicole takes higher priority. Don, the KGE was on fire three times yesterday. How was it on fire three times yesterday? Well, two times were my fault. The other one was natural causes. Well, I'll just pay to get that <laughs> done. Sugar baby Nicole, you're damn right! <laughs> now, as a sign of good faith, we'll pay 20% of the commission fee in advance as a deposit. Please help us. Your internet account has received the corresponding payment. Alright, uh, they paid us in advance, let's go this do it! Is very likely to be Yay, a trap money! Now. Choosing the money in this situation could cost us our lives. Perhaps you Money. can have Fairy return the client's deposit? Master, the amount is 1.1 times the total income from Internaut in the previous month. Do you wish to return this deposit? Wait, how much did you say? <laughs> <laughs> now he listens. 1.1 times the listen. previous month's total income. What if the client really does need our help? What if the client really does need us? We can't just ignore their cry for help, can we? And we also need the money! Do you agree to avoid risking our lives for money? But if you insist, you can pretend to be a jogger early tomorrow morning and take a look. <sighs> Without my bro around, I don't know if I can do this. No, 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 no. There's only one word in a bro's dictionary. Determination! Oh. No. <laughs> that makes for a very thin dictionary. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I... They'll be here soon. Then, I'd go for it. If my bro were here, he'd say the same. <laughs> Look, he's... Shady. <laughs> yeah, he's Searching a Searching for a suspicious <laughs> person and talking to oneself. Master, the above keywords are somewhat similar to the movie plot of Videotape 16-5 on Shelf 3, Section H. Section H? Isn't that the one with the old civilization thrillers we've never cared for? Movie title. Frightful Fracture, Treacherous Dawn. It tells the story of a criminal with multiple personalities who lures his victims under the guise of asking for help. Damn! <laughs> yeah. Each time a victim falls into the trap, the villain utters his famous line in a cheerful tone. Yo, found you! Oh no, scream. Time to scream! Uh, check this out! Whoa! Hey, I know. watch where you're swinging that taser. It could be dangerous. 
<laughs> Sorry about that. I probably should have waited until you got off the phone. You're Faithen, right? Hmm? Bell, this guy looks familiar. Wait, wasn't he the guest on Bang Boo Knows yesterday? Yeah, that's what I'm Anton saying. You guys from forgot. Industries. That's right. I'm Anton from Bellabog. Since you've already recognized me, I'm gonna make this simple. Faithen, I know it's not common practice to ask to meet in person. Like I said in my message, it's life and death for the company. And because of how serious a matter this is, we can't reveal our identity to outsiders. Hmm. I see. That makes sense. But before we get to the commission, tell us how you knew our anonymous internet account was actually ours. <laughs> Sorry, I can't reveal that. But our source of information assured us the account was run by the famous proxy Faithen. And that you were a top-notch proxy with outstanding ability and ethics. I didn't expect such praise from Nicole. She thinks too much of us. <laughs> You're too modest. The cutting hair is highly recommended. Oh, you just revealed it. Huh? Wait, how did you know it was the cunning hairs who introduced us? I knew it was mm. Nicole who gave us away. <laughs> <laughs> of course she wouldn't let you tell us it was her. She doesn't want us to know she's getting something out of it. Anyway, let's concentrate on the matter at hand. <laughs> Anton. What well, Anton Anton got Bellarock tricked. want our help with? Yeah. You agree to accept the commission? Right on! Our president will explain the commission details once we get there. That construction site you mentioned? Isn't it that metro project you just took over? Bingo! If it were still up to vision, the nearby area would be blown to bits. But now, it's a battlefield where my construction bros are pouring their blood, sweat, and tears! <laughs> This guy has such energy. I like it. If we're going on a field trip, we need to make some preparations. Why don't you I go with my sister bro. and wait by the parking lot? She can drive you to the site later. Sure. Thanks for the lift then. <laughs> well then. That was that. Yeah. So is this the start of chapter two or the middle of it? Start of chapter two. Hmm. Well, that gave me my answer. Yeah, I told you, sorry, chapter two. We're almost there. Her president is just ahead. She may be young, but she's a real beast. So it's okay if you're nervous. I love the animation on this guy. Don't be nervous. I love the animations in general. Watch out! Hey, thank you for the sub, Wayna, on YouTube. Whoa! Yeah, uh... Oh, her! Diagnostics almost done. Just stay like that. Don't move. Don't worry, kiddo. I'm just gonna install a firewall. Yeah, she's a it won't hurt. Whoa. You lost control of your beast! <laughs> That's a. Uh, yeah. That's <laughs> an introduction. Phew! I think that's it. Sorry, I was late. Look at that. Look at the drip on him. Beast, huh? This is Bella Bug's boss. Uh, hello. Oh, hello there, Miss Proxy. <laughs> he's Sorry, a, he's a total fluff I'm ball. <laughs> he's a, okay. Yeah, the, yeah. This is Ben, aka aka the teddy bear. You're not the... Uh, what are you doing, Grace? Yeah, here he is. Nani? He said, put me down this... Lolly to introduce our president. <laughs> <laughs> there she is. We got a lolly as a president. Yeah, her last name's Bellabog. Kaleida Bellabog. Sorry to have you witness the chaos just now. I hope it hasn't got you questioning our professionalism. Otherwise known as uh, Emmy's favorite It does have me questioning the professionalism quite a bit. Don, we're not professionals, and you know that. Everyone is so relieved to hear an excellent proxy like you is here to help. And yeah, this is Emmy's favorite character for a reason. I guess I'm about to find out why. Up in Oregon. Anton might have already mentioned, our company has taken over the Metro Project. But it's not going particularly well because enemies keep getting in the way. Are they important? 
Our primary edge comes from smart machines that can operate safely in the hollows for extended periods. I'm very proud of these kids. Kids? Yeah. Not only can they effectively resist ether corruption, they're also highly intelligent and can work autonomously according to the situation <laughs> within a hollow. They're even equipped with specially designed language modules allowing them to talk. By kids, you mean your machines, don't you, Nepgear? I've always taken <laughs> care of them. And I'm the one who improved upon the prototypes so they'd be fit for specific jobs. I'm responsible for the routine maintenance and upgrades as well. They're like my children. Yep, you're Nepgear. But a few days yeah, ago, she, after uh... updating their logic course, three of them ignored my orders and went deeper into the hollow while working. Yeah. They still haven't come back. Uh, yep. I've said this a number of times, but she is big pooped net gear. Understood. Clear and ether corruption are nothing new for companies operating in the hollows. But when things go wrong involving Bellbog Industries, people are gonna talk. The machines were working fine before. This update was totally unnecessary. <laughs> Boy, that's a relatable mood. <laughs> Ugh. Uh. The, the amount of times where it's just like, I don't want to update my computer. I don't want to. I'm in the but middle of doing to. shit. <laughs> but you're forced to. <laughs> but I'm forced to. Okay, you know, I say this, and yet it's an update that saved my previous computer from being absolute trash at one point. That's mm -hmm. still, that still to this day feels wild that a regular update saved my computer from just completely blue screening for eternity. Yeah. About that bro you mentioned. Your jackhammer is your bro? Yes. Did you not have a jackhammer growing up? No. Did you? Yes. He's my brother. You're fucking with me, right? Yes, I am. <laughs> however, however, I did grow up with a drill. Because my dad had like five drills. I have several questions. It's best not to ask. Then I won't ask. Who is your sweet pea, Grace? <laughs> Our fun size real beast. I'm yeah, Grace. It. Wait, is she Grace. is she referring to her boss? She's yes, she's referring oh, to. Oh wow. Yeah, uh, yeah. Grace likes to give nicknames to people she she likes a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So Sweet P is uh, is Bella is Miss Bella Bog. <laughs> Remember, it's Miss Bella Bog. Yeah, it's a title. Lolly Bella Bog. She's gonna bonk you with her hammer. I'd rather her bonk me with her fist. Oh! Ho, ho, ho! We all decided to let the president go on first. But then the program said, we invite guests onto a children's program. Not children on as guests. Yeah. And our um, president almost smashed a load-bearing wall when she heard. Yeah. <laughs> no, One of yeah, the charms yeah, never... is that she doesn't even bother holding back when she's angry. That just makes yeah. her cuter. <laughs> Yeah, Dawn. Yeah, Dawn. This is why you don't refer to her as a lolly. This is why you refer to her as Miss Bellabog. I'm gonna call her a lolly. She's going to smack you with a hammer. It's going to explode on you. Hopefully not. It will explode on you. <laughs> Boy, don't I know that. She's she's basically my fire main. <laughs> oh, um, nothing. Listening to you just reminded me of an old story. Oh, is it a story about fearless bros? Uh, the main character is a man, but it's hard to say whether he's fearless or not. The story is about how a man is punished by having to carry boulders over and over again, day after day. Now, this is just my humble opinion, but... Our company's autonomous machines are all very intelligent. Maybe once the logic core was upgraded, the grappler just couldn't stand such monotonous work. That might be work. it. 
Ben, that's not true. The man in the story and our grappler are doing some awesome muscle training every day. You're an idiot. Ah, <sighs> this is it. This is where the signal came from. That child. In hollow boring machine Mark III Greta. We need the proxy to lead the search. Grace, describe the boring machine. Why are you calling it boring machine? Hardworking and capable and cute. <laughs> Just like Sweet Pea was when she was little. <sighs> Nobody has a clue what you're talking about. Okay, to put it in words the average human can understand, it's a machine responsible for excavating tunnels. To work faster, it's also equipped with a demolition saw used to tear down buildings. Boring is a type of cutting? Oh, I never knew that. I thought the little thing would become more efficient after the update. I never thought she'd run off. Who even told you to do such an unnecessary update? It's more annoying than my laptop's constant updates. Damn, if that ain't a feel. <sighs> you never talked like this when you were a kid. When you used to be so cute when you were little. Oh, she's constantly teasing her. Um, but it's normal to go through a rebellious phase growing up, right? Maybe the boring machine has just gotten a few rebellious ideas in its head. No, I won't allow it. Uh huh? I won't allow my cute children to become unruly, rebellious beasts. All right, Chi Chi. Midnight drag racing, deliberately scratching up their bodies, putting on massive stickers that are extremely difficult to clean, trying prohibited ether fuel mixtures, even imitating the old civilization cartoons, and trying to merge with other machines. Okay, Chi Chi. Whoa. Having listened to your description, I wish I could see that. <sighs> Don't push your buttons, Proxy. But it's fun! Proxy, we have to find it quickly. I just hope it isn't too late. Data. Fight time. This looks like a boss fight if I've seen one. Here. I've been waiting. What? Huh? This guy's had a complete change of personality. His installed voice was nothing like this. Grappler, your smart core may have malfunctioned. Come back with us so we can fix you. Don't treat me like a child refusing their medicine. I'm a real bro, fearless and unyielding. Did he just dab on us? You call yourself a real bro after that sneak attack? That's not a one on one. Ow. That better take things seriously. Don't underestimate me. Witness my power. Don't get in my way. Boom. The, the big boss. Saw that coming. And I still got hit by it. So I don't sound nearly as smart as I wish. Get him, Drill Boo. If that is your name, I don't know. Oh, that, that does not give you much time. Hey there, Grappler. Why did you run away from us? If you really want to know, you must defeat me first. 
Oh, it's throwing boulders at me. And now you're stunned again. Almost got ya! Woo! That was a smooth finish and a smooth dodge! <laughs> An opening! Is this dude really heavy machinery? He's so fast! He's trying to escape! Well, let's not let him! <laughs> you may have made quite the effort tracking me down, but I'm not going back with you, so give up now and admit defeat! I'm a real bro, and these mundane tasks you've been handing me don't appeal to me whatsoever! Ah, oh, hey! Wait, Bear called it out! It's just about your workload, we can work this out! If you keep making a scene, you'll attract ethereals! Just come back with us, heavy-duty grappler Hans! Silence! Don't call me by that basic name! It's totally not my vibe! Totally not my vibe? should pick his own name! Powerful and bold! Like a total beast! Hi, Sarno! Yes! From today on, I shall be known as... Fireball! <laughs> What's happening? Exactly what people uh, warned you of! Like my brief existence has come to an end. You just said you're a real blow. Ooh, nice art there. Your faith in yourself goes. You why are you helping me? <laughs> you have a great dream. Uh, it's a real shame that you're giving up so quickly. And after I agreed to have a proper showdown with you. We haven't got a winner yet. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Anton, my brother. Wait, what's going on? Yeah, I'm basically might be the a same. Weird, but this kid should be fine. Yes, brother. I've made up my mind. I'll return with you and learn how to be a real bro. I'll start by doing my day-to-day -day work. It's okay. We got this, bro. This guy is giving me. You haven't told me your new name yet. This guy is giving me common advice. Man of iron, brave one, sparkling engine, Hans. So you're still called Hans. Well, that was a thing. That was definitely pretty wild. I will say that. That was wild. Very good question. Hmm. I have an idea. What's that? Go all right, everybody. Cover your ears and stand aside. Bruh! Did I just get blasted? But we got injured! Aren't we right by our target? <sighs> Just don't be so reckless next time. Damn, damn, bitch, you crazy!
I thought it might injure it, but... Take it back. You're uh, worse than Nepgear. Easy now, Grace. But who's Mr. White? Uh, another machine? It's not that rundown building it's on, is it? Don't insult Mr. White! I've made up my mind. I'm staying here with Mr. White. So Why? Okay, new boss fight. How about a jump up about? No, you don't. And here I go. One of the more difficult bosses, yeah, I can definitely see why. Ow. Die bomb! Should have seen that coming. Ow. What? Did it just spew sand at me? Attracted some ethereals. Again? You dare jump on Mr. White! Get your filthy hands off of him! Get away! You filth! Stop being so rude or I'll... I'll... They look so I confused. Told you, not to touch him. you moldy turds just don't understand, do you? She's like a different person! Just unbelievable! Is this the power of a girl in love? Grace? What kind of love really? What's the use of an ether electric hybrid 1400 kilogram demolition saw? Very specific. Wait, Miss Boring Machine. That way is. And you killed Mr. White. Just now, it cut through the load bearing wall. I killed Mr. White! It's all my fault! Don't blame yourself. 
It's not your fault. In fact, I should congratulate you. Grace is yeah, like... Wait just a minute, Grace. Think about what you're saying. What? Grace, what oh, are you saying? Grace might know everything about machinery, but she's single as hell. She knows nothing about love. Lift up your head and look around. Mr. White is hugging you. Bruh! Every building can only give one hug in its lifetime. He gave his to you. And he even drove off the ethereals. What a gentle building. You have good taste. <laughs> Don't be discouraged. We won't let you. Am I to him chat? Like Am I high? Here, come back with us. Am I dreaming? Let's work together to rebuild Mr. White on new land. Uh, I'm sorry, I just, uh, I didn't have much to say there because I was absolutely stupefied by what I just saw. What the flipping? Alright then, that's the two missions. Welcome back, pal. Bruh. Multi. Yeah, I think it is. Ah, uh, only one A, right? Hopefully, it's Nicole. Come on, Nicole. What the fuck is that? Wait, is that maybe Nicole's main? It says bunny band, so... Maybe? Hey, don't look down, standing. Nothing to fear. The cunning hairs are here. Nope. Uh, damn. Problem, boss. I'll crouch. Have we been spotted? Yep, it's running away. Let's get him. Warning, the target machine's hydraulic impact mechanism is accumulating energy. Speculation. It intends to perform a pile driving motion against the ground. Please clench your teeth while falling to avoid biting off your tongue. <laughs> Watch out. You're gonna fall into the fissure. Is everyone alright? I'm alright. We need to figure out a way to get back. Well, that happened. We just want to beat you up. The target machine's hydraulic impact mechanism is accumulating energy. Speculation. It intends to perform a pile driving motion against the ground. Hmm? Did I just repeat myself? Starlight Knights never get hit by the same attack twice. Unfortunately, Master, you are no Starlight Knight. <laughs> wow! <laughs> that old trick again? Cut it out! You think I'm gonna give up if you push me away again? Save it, Anton. Kill it in person. <laughs> Alright, let's see where this goes. We Bunch of enemies. Coin! Money! Money! Let's hold on to it. Abandoned building complex detected ahead. All right, what's it Confirmed. gonna do this time? There is nowhere for it to go. Hey, I saw that. 
Sneaky. I am the smart. I am the smart. Master, the target construction machine has been successfully surrounded. Should I broadcast some trash talk to insult it? Broadcast Please trash? Please style. Vicious. Nasty. Or twisted. I can also alternate between 18 known languages. 18 known languages? Damn! Uh... Just grab it! You think you're getting away from me, buddy? You need more rest, Press. You're still growing. Come on. And now you're stunned. you're actually gonna get off. Say what? I wonder how much of the bar you're actually gonna get down. Uh, what do you mean by that? You need more rest, Chris. You're still growing. Where'd it go? Oh. That, that's what I mean. Oh. Okay, that was a sick dodge. You gotta give me props there. Definitely props. Okay. AOE. Oh yeah, it's a giant pile driver. And then Smash! That did not do as much damage as I was hoping. Friday. This guy's been completely silent this and whole time. Maybe his language module is broken? No way. It can obviously understand us. Okay. I know you can hear me. Let's talk. You <laughs> ran away with two other machines. One was a dude who desires self-fulfillment, the other a young girl passionately in love. Which still sounds what crazy. Who are you, and what do you want? <laughs> what? Don't you have any weird character traits? <laughs> How dare you! Huh? Traits! Ridiculous! Mere mortals! How dare they speak us out of turn about my most wondrous mission! Uh, I'm what? An enlightened sinner! I cometh to stabilize the seal and guard this place on my mentor's charge. Thou shalt leave at once. What? The enlightened sinner? 
Stabilize the seal. Ah, uh, I get it. <laughs> so these are delusions of grandeur. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any idea how dangerous it is to go running around in a hollow? Thou art the unreasonable ones. The seal is weak, and once it is broken, this place shall be devastated. Say no more. I shall force my way through. Stop right there. My mentor, I cometh. Mentor? Ben, stop him. Uh, if possible, I'd like to solve this peacefully. I'm sorry. Man, you are just a big teddy bear, aren't you? Grace, now's our chance. I'm here. Leave it to me. <laughs> I appreciate your imagination, my child. That Let's talk about it when face, back. though. That it's face and those fingers. Is <laughs> Don't my most Please, let's talk. Stay away. Turns out this guy can actually talk like a normal person. <laughs> Listen to me. I'm not lying. I hear the calling from my mentor, Horace. I can't fail him. Horace? Horus. What's going on? Why is he mentioning that name? That name? Does it have some kind of special meaning? Oh, you don't know yet. <laughs> huh? You don't know yet. I have several questions. I don't know if they'll explain it in the next cutscene or... Oh, yep, they are. Hmm. I can't even remember how long it's been since I heard his name. His name? Horse Bellabog. Your father? Bellabog Industries, previous president, and my father. Kaleda, huh. look! This is what Daddy told you about. Bellabog's first independently developed smart construction machine. This is the prototype you were talking oh, about. Oh, she's so adorable! Oh, building it. <laughs> Look at her little hammer! <sighs> she's so adorable! <laughs> so adorable, <laughs> must head back! He just doesn't have right now. Plus, we lack the production to build such powerful machinery. But don't worry. One day, my little girl will be riding in the machine her old man built. You know, it's not just any machine. It's got a heart your dad made in it. It'll be able to understand your commands and endure all the hollow's dangers. <sighs> wow. Here, Kaleda, give it a name. When you call out that name, it'll accomplish whatever you need it to. What you gonna call it? Dad? You promised to play with me today! Kaleda, Daddy's busy right now. Bidding on the new project, the prototype's manufacturing fee, then there's the final review at Pioneer's Memorial Plaza. One minute, I'll be done soon. Daddy promises. Mm -hmm. Out! <laughs> Liar! What? You know, to pause for a moment, people, uh, people really undermine how much it can hurt a kid when parents don't, uh, keep their word. It really messes with your trust in them. Oh, definitely. Like, e even something small can build up quite a bit of spite. Like, I think the first time I called... Like, I called my mom out for lying was, like, something really small. She said we would either... It was something related to either getting dessert for sure, or if we would go to this specific place once we were done. And then at the end, they're just like, Nah, I, I don't want to. And I'm like, but you promised! 
And that ha that had quite a bit of spite on me for a while. You have understandable. Yup. <laughs> kids don't kids don't forget that shit. You want me to pretend like nothing happened? Are you kidding me? Just come out with it! What exactly is in there? Hello? Hello? Say something! Huh? Dad! It's so late! Where are you going? I don't want to be home alone! Oh... Come on, Kalita, stop it! There's an emergency. I have to go now. Just stay at home and be good. Daddy will be back in no time. I promise. That's a lying thing. Just like that. He vanished. That liar. President? President? Uh, Ben? You were saying something? Damn, that's... Yes, the commission is completed. Miss Proxy uh. came to collect their Bangboo. Wow. Just... So that's what happened with the previous head. Literally yeah. just took the money and ran. But why? Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. She seems a little upset. Well, yeah, after having that. Hmm. We might have had some trouble along the way, but we've recovered all three machines. And with that, all the commissions Bellabog assigned you have been completed. We were able to get out of that tough spot, thanks to you. Thanks again for your help, Faithen. Grace is analyzing the machines right now. With her skills, she should be able to find the reason that... Uh... What? You got something to say? You hold your emotions pretty strongly, Kaleida. There's something on my mind. When the pile driver mentioned the name Horse, you had such a weird face. Uh, oh, would you look at the time. Uh, President, if we don't go deal with that commission fee for Ms. Proxy now, we won't be able to transfer the money tomorrow. Ben, don't worry. It's okay. Aww. Ben really is such a softie. If we don't tell them, the proxy could just look it up online. Besides, they helped us and they're trustworthy. We don't have to avoid it. Proxy, you saw Anton on that show before, right? Hold on, we're connecting to your channels? Uh, chat, we're still live, right? Uh, let me go check. There. And there. I think it's just related to me being yeah, able looks to like... chat with everyone. Yeah, it looks like you are still uh, alive. Alright, good, good, good. I was a little worried I can even hear, for a I moment. I can even hear myself on a delay, so... No, we have not been dead the whole time, just... Just uh, had something pop up on OBS saying reconnecting, but it was primarily connecting my ability to type on chat, which I don't use much. And I need to hit the button. Yeah, just one of those cases where we need to make ago, sure that our connection was good. Yeah. Who disappeared with a bunch of money. Well, that president of Bailabog was horse. Horse Bailabog. Why does she say it differently? So, yes. He was my father. The night before the old capital fell, a large sum of money suddenly disappeared from Bellabog's accounts, and the old man went missing. Popsec investigated and said the financial burden of Bellabog, coupled with the possibility the memorial square we were building at the time might not be completed on schedule, caused Horace to embezzle the public funds and run. Wow. Bellabog Industries had an extremely hard time because of one old man's irresponsible behavior. But we're back on our feet now. Kaleda, you've been through a lot. 
I'm glad you've turned the corner. Thank you. At any rate, I stopped thinking of Horse Bellabog as my father a long time ago. Eh, it's probably for the best. The Bellabog of today has nothing to do with that selfish piece of trash. Youch. Koleda, how could you talk about your own father like that? Uh, because he literally took the money and ran, leaving his young daughter behind? It's true a large sum of money was missing from the company's books, but no one can prove it was Uncle Horse who took it. The investigation results and the claims he absconded with the money were all just pub sex speculation. I know so, all the bad press brought about Alita's the security. only one who knows that, what happened that night. losing your father hurt you. But you shouldn't resent your own father like that. So, I guess she's never told anyone the real truth? What she saw, yeah. Huh. You were too young to spend much time with him before he went missing to us. You don't know how wonderful you... You're the one who doesn't know anything! <sighs> Uh, I think we're getting further away from just explaining to Ms. Proxy who Horse was. Ben's like, all right, let's calm down. Let's calm down. And Grace, Gotta love weren't you uh, an working uh, on those three machines? Engine. What are you doing here? What did you say? I mean, I love this. I love like actual character tension between each other. Yeah, it's it's pretty good. I came over to tell you, I found a clue as to why they ran off. Oh, really? Great! Mm. After examining their logic cores, I found they'd all picked up the same signal from deep within a hollow before wandering off. The signal's identification code format is the same we use in the company. When decoded, the text reads, BLG Prototype. That's right, Kaleda. Unbelievable as it sounds, the signal seems to be coming from the original prototype. Uh, the, the prototype? prototype? What's that? It was the first smart machinery made before the former president went missing. Our production line was somewhat outdated at the time, so we couldn't complete manufacturing independently. Apart from the core parts, everything else was outsourced to another manufacturer and produced according to our blueprint. Unfortunately, the old capital fell before the final delivery payment was made, even though the machine was completed. The manufacturer was swallowed by the hollow and lost forever, along with the prototype. But it looks like the prototype is out there somewhere, and maintains some level of functionality. You may not like what I'm about to say, Sweet Pea. I know you don't want to drag up the past, but that prototype is still company property. That prototype logic core has a lot of value. So what are you gonna do? Go get it back, or pretend it doesn't exist? Ouch. <laughs> Calm down, guys. There's no need to jump to conclusions today. Even the most durable components can experience mechanical fatigue. Not to mention, we're all human. After running around in the hollow for so long, both our bodies and minds need relaxation. Uh, Anton's right. It's getting late. You must be tired. Miss Proxy, please go back and rest for today. If we decide to head into the hollow to look for the prototype, we'll be sure to contact you for assistance. Oh, that was pretty heavy. Yeah. You need to rest well to work well. Is this statement a little disrespectful to the god of rest? What? <laughs> god of rest? I've... <laughs> Never heard of such a thing. If it exists, it must like me with how many naps I take. I take a lot of naps. <laughs> Low energy and such. No restrictions. Fire as well. Yeah. That ass shot. <laughs> yeah, she got that cake. Yeah, she definitely got that cake. That speed, though. Detected large fan blades spinning at high speed. Damn! <laughs> Did I just slice a person? Solution. I think so. <laughs> Get it? Move a little. <laughs> yep. Completely killed him. Oh, 
You were right. <laughs> I definitely called that. Oh! Oh, you thought you were slick there. That's what I that's what I actually said. A finish. Is our expensive. Recommended level 40. Yeah, we'll see about that, won't we? Oh yeah, we will see. <laughs> what, you think I'm gonna lose? What's this part? Did you would you hold it against me if I said yes? What's this heart thing? That's just... I don't know. Sorry, Lane. What was that you were saying before? Considering the context of what we're saying right now, it's kind of funny for you to say that. didn't forget, right? Oh yeah, phase two. Ow. 
And now you get the full combo. Up, oh, ultimate's ready. Didn't forget about the combo. Whoa, I forgot about that. Didn't know we could do that. This one, you didn't die. Nope, I did not. Proved you wrong. I proved me wrong on this one. And I got an S rank. Fuck you. <laughs> Thanks for coming, Proxy. Bellabog Industries has decided to officially start the search for the prototype. Glad you made a I'm decision. Glad you made up your mind. Bet it wasn't easy. Yes. The prototype carries important company technology. As president, I can't just leave it out there. As for finding the prototype, Grace is the expert. Sorry, but I have other things to deal with today. So, you can talk to her about it. Uh, pr president wait. Awkward. Kaleida walked away with her head hung low. There's still a bit of a grudge between her and Grace. Don't worry, Ben. The president isn't the kind of person to change her mind after making a decision. Yes, and that's enough for Sweet Pea. I'll find a way to deal with the rest of it. <sighs> okay, then. Let's begin, Proxy. We'll start with the incident involving the lost smart machines. After carrying out a careful inspection, I found their logic cores were functioning properly and showed no signs of being corrupted by Ether. So why'd they do it? They changed because they were receiving signals from the prototype. Oh. I'll skip the details, but the gist is the operating power of their logic cores has been improved. That is to say, the children became smarter by communicating with the prototype. But of the three, only the pile driver, Friday, received a clear instruction. He was the one yelling about having to reinforce the seal as soon as possible. What is reinforce the seal supposed to mean? Wasn't that just part of his over-the-top delusions? Unfortunately, the little one hasn't been able to explain things clearly. But from what I gather, the prototype wanted the other machines to rush to its side. I studied the data the prototype sent them. The pile driver was the first to receive it, and it got the most data. Interesting. The other two children received much less information, and the content also appeared sporadically. Also, none of our other smart machines received any communications from the prototype after these first three children went missing. Uh, so the prototype's communication module is likely incapable of actively contacting other devices anymore. Exactly. Kaleida likely realizes that. And probably regrets not making a decision sooner. But she shouldn't blame herself so quickly. 
Proxy, our smart machines automatically send a single byte confirmation signal when the communication module receives a message. It's a simple feature and is likely still functional. If that's the case, we can have each of the three children contact the prototype and triangulate its location based on the signal it sends back. Time is of the essence, Proxy. When we're in the hollow, we'll leave the navigation and target location analysis to you. Let's say I'm hi sure. to it. I will boss it around without mercy in the same manner my master bosses me around, and it won't dare complain. Damn! <laughs> The shade! The total shade. Damn! That is the biggest amount of shade I've seen from this from <laughs> fairy. Damn. That fairy is so great. Fairy is great. Like, wow! Is this where I send out my love signal? Just... Send a normal signal, okay? That was painful. <laughs> Just a normal Head signal. Over to the grappler proxy. Just a normal signal. <laughs> Roger that. The rest is up to you, my children. It's time to call your elder. Whenever she said that, uh, I just thought of uh, that scene in TFS where Goku says, Go, my children. <laughs> I've got it. We're getting a message back from the boring machine. All three machines are receiving a signal from the prototype. <laughs> awesome. What's going on? What's that noise on your end, Grace? It's nothing, just some ethereals. I'll deal with them in a minute. Oh, it seems the high frequency signal from the transmitter not only affects the prototype, but gets ethereals riled up too. No, wait. I'm detecting multiple individuals with high ether activity approaching you. I'm afraid you and the pile driver may have trouble fending them off. Stop transmitting the signal, Grace! You and the pile driver have to get out of there! Don't provoke the ethereals! No can do, Sweet Pea. Didn't the proxy say we can't let the transmission be interrupted until we decode the signal? I'm ordering you to stop transmitting immediately! We'll try again after we've dealt with the ethereals! I'll be frank, Coleta. The prototype is sending a signal, but the time interval between replies is getting longer and longer. That means the prototype's communication module no longer has the power to send confirmation replies for every message. If we stop now, we won't get a second chance. Oh. The prototype's logic core is vital to Bellabog, so I can't give up that easily. Don't be stupid, Grace. It's not about whether you give up or not. You can't handle that many ethereals by yourself. Even without the prototype, we can still develop new tech. That'll have to do, Kaleida. My guests have arrived. I can't greet them properly while talking to you. Oh, shit. Wait! Don't go! Grace! Sis! Damn it! Why does nobody ever listen? Proxy, we have to go save her! Grace! How's the situation? Don't worry. Communication with the prototype wasn't broken. That's not what I'm asking! I mean, are you hurt? Ah, uh, as much as she want wants to fight with her, she's like, "No, I'm concerned for you." She rushed in. Uh, uh, ow, ow, ow. Kaleida, what was that for? That's what you get. Why did you disobey a direct order from your president? You even cut communication. Even a hopeless tech geek like you must have limits to your madness. <laughs> you say it's for the benefit of Bellabog? If anything happened to you, even if we found the prototype, who's gonna do the research on it? Hold on, Sweet Pea. Let me explain. Oh, I don't want to hear it. Uh... Coleta is right, Grace. We shouldn't risk our lives. We all know you're doing this for Bellabog Industries and Coleta. But if something happened to you... How would Coleta face all of this? I'm sorry. I shouldn't have disconnected. All I was thinking about was how I could possibly deal with the ethereals while staying in communication. I was confident I could hold off until you arrived, but I didn't explain myself clearly, nor did I consider your feelings. For that, I'm sorry. Aww. It's over now. I'm just glad you're all right. Maybe be honest with you each other? You clearly care about each other. If 
if you could just be honest with each other. Proxy, we can move on to the next step in fighting the prototype, right? Let's go! Grace went to great lengths to maintain that signal. We can't let her efforts go to waste! You picked the, uh... Or you picked the opposite one that I picked. I, I was gonna tell Coleta to calm down. Huh. Yes! We have enough search data now! Locating the prototype! Optimizing algorithm. Can you optimize the YouTube algorithm for me? You know there's no optimizing YouTube. Target Fine. location confirmed. Bell, your current location is the most suitable one to amplify the signal. Wait a moment. Fairy and I will soon have the prototype's position. Calculating coordinates. Prototype location found. Generating a map of the area. Reminder, since there are no working cameras in the hollow, the map was generated using street camera images from many years ago based on the coordinates. I'm sending you the map Fairy has drawn up. Meanwhile... Uh, got it. Let me see. What on? Hmm. It's not very clear. I can just about make out a strangely shaped tower. Hmm? Hey, give me a sec. Just lowering the volume on my end. Alright. There we go. Grace, let me see that. Uh, this is... Extra thick! What's wrong, Ben? Is there a problem with the prototype's location? President, back then, and just before the former president disappeared, Bellabog was awarded construction rights for a project in a new development area, the Pioneers Memorial Plaza. This isn't a tower. It's a monument in the center of Memorial Plaza. What? Hmm. The prototype is located in the plaza that the old man never finished? But... But why? The old man has to be there. I don't know what's going on. After all these years? Looking at the picture, I have a bad feeling about it. The prototype's sudden appearance. It's like... The president is trying to tell us something. Right. Didn't Friday say Horse was calling it? You're overthinking it. It might have brought up the name Horse, but an enlightened sinner, stabilizing the seal, it's all nonsense. But I am curious about what the prototype is doing here. We should go check it out. We found it! There it is. But I'm missing coins. Never mind. I always grab this for a heal. Just in case. The monument is just ahead. We're almost there. This is a pretty rough path, so watch your step. Anton! Let the proxy sit on the machine! Grace? Is something wrong? You're so slow. Me? Oh, I was just thinking about something. Oh? Good. If you're hurt and trying to hide it from me, you'll be in for it. <laughs> I love the way she said that, like... It, it, it's like a begrudging... You know I care about you, dumbass. <laughs> Sundere. Right? Yeah, Sundere. It's basically the same way Emmy would say it. <laughs> hey, sweet pea. We're family. Don't be mean. What? <laughs> when I was in danger earlier, you called me sis, right? <sighs> Memories. I Is this the character that Emmy said they Bellabog. hate that they relate to so much? I think so. <laughs> really? I didn't notice. I must have yelled it without thinking. 
in the heat of the moment. <laughs> so ethereal. soon, Dere. Those ethereals, and my mind went blank. I could only think of one thing. I don't want to lose another family member. Whoa. Aww. You risked your life for Bellabug's future. But as president, there was nothing I could do. I haven't been a very good president. Keep saying that, and I'm going to get angry, Sweet Pea. I know better than anyone how hard you've worked these past years. You're still growing, but you work from early in the morning to late at night. Am I gonna need to be the one to tell you you're not a machine? What the fuck? This is just me and Emmy talking casually when it comes to me pepping her up. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> It's like you it's like looking in a mirror, isn't it? Yes, stuff? yes, it is. Your desk is all stuffed with my well-worn technical papers, even though they're well written. Kid, your age, I don't know. Shouldn't you be reading comics or something? But compared to you, <laughs> it's me who's incompetent. I said that I was doing it for the future of Bellabog. But perhaps I was just trying to salvage Uncle no wonder legacy. Emmy relates to her. Yeah, I can definitely see that. I thought yeah. if you could just see the prototype in person. Maybe that's why she was my first S rank. An amazing man he was. Grace was mine. Hmm. It's sad to think someone that outstanding is rejected by his own daughter. Sis. But ever since that day you said I knew nothing, well. I noticed some clues and started connecting the dots. Koleda, have you been hiding something about Horse? I... The night Dad went missing, I saw him leave with my own two eyes. It was late at night, and I was woken up by the sound of a phone call from the living room. I came out of my room to see what was going on, and I saw him clutching this bulging bag. He was planning to leave without saying goodbye. Damn, she sounds like she's about to break down crying. I had yeah, a bad she's feeling about digging it. up a bad so memory. I ran over to stop him. I asked him where he was going, but his bag was yanked open. And I saw it was filled with stacks of bank notes. I learned later, it was the money missing from Bellabog's accounts. I had no idea something like that happened. <laughs> yeah. After that... Plus the public security report? I just can't believe in him as much as you guys do. So you suffered alone all these years? Why didn't you tell anyone? Wouldn't it have been easier to just get it out? That's what I'm wondering. Uh, who knows? I guess I thought if I said it out loud, that'd officially make him a bad person. <laughs> but you're right. I... Do feel better. Yep. Her own father basically stole money from his own company and left his daughter to clean up the mess. Just promise me one thing, Sweet Pea, okay? Whatever happens in the future, we face it together. Bellabog is your home. Even without Horse, me, Anton, and Ben, we're all your family. Okay, I promise. Besides, how's that saying go? Facts aren't always the truth. Maybe Horace had another reason for leaving that day. I'm not asking you to accept my point of view, but the mystery surrounding Horse will always haunt Bellabog, so we'll keep looking for answers. Right now, our priority is finding the prototype. Let's get going. All right, here's the prototype. Yep. Big boss fight coming up. This is it. The Memorial Square Bellabog built back then. Look! There's a big white thing over there by the monument! The slick colors, the handsome lines. Yes! That's the prototype! But why is it in that bizarre position? Hmm. <sighs> I agree. It does look a bit unnatural. Like it's actively clamping down on the monument. Did something happen here? Ben? Anton? 
You guys go take a look around the monument. I'll take Grace and the proxy to take a look at the cockpit. Roger that. <sighs> you two be careful in there. The prototype has been in the hollow for so long that it may have been corrupted in some places. That's a Don't good point. Worry. The cockpit was well sealed. It's still pretty clean inside. Huh? This... This is... No mistaking it. That's a bullet hole. That's a not all, Kaleida. Just look around. There are bullet holes all over the cockpit. Why? What? What happened here? The casings all fell inside the cockpit. So the gun was fired at close range. It looks like there was a struggle here. But with how much time has passed, it's impossible to tell if anyone was shot. Hmm? There's a stack of notes on the center console. Let's see what they say. This is... Ben! Anton! Get over here! The proxy has found something! What is it, President? Look at this! That's a bill for the prototype! Not only does it have President Horse's signature, it has the date and amount on it, too. Yeah, the amount is the same as what disappeared from the company's accounts, and it matches the time of Horse's disappearance. So that means... Horse took the money to pay for the prototype manufacturing. Uh -huh. I knew a guy like Horse would never do something like running away with company funds! Horse's name can be cleared with this receipt as evidence! Uh, wait! Could it be possible Horse was the one that drove the prototype here? But why? And why did he disappear? I'm wondering we that as well. We can't be sure about anything just yet. But with all those bullet holes in the cockpit, something terrible must have happened. The old man... My dad... didn't run away of his own accord. But then he hasn't come back either. In all likelihood, he's already dead. Damn it! Props to this voice now. actor. That phone call right before he left, it was just so weird! He was saying stuff like, you want me to pretend like nothing happened, and... What exactly is in there? Dad must have gotten involved in something dangerous! But what did he find? Why didn't he tell anyone before he... Don't worry, Kaleida. We'll find the answers. I just checked the prototype. The external memory unit in its logic core is intact. It must still have records from back then. I'll start analyzing the data the moment we bring the prototype back. We'll find the truth behind Horse's disappearance. That's right, President. We'll find a way. Faden is ready to help whenever you need it, Kaleida. Aww. Everyone. <laughs> yeah. You guys are right. As president, I can't keep feeling sorry for myself. Okay, let's get this prototype back. Over this way. Little more. Careful. Slowly now. That's it. Something's steady about to now, go steady. wrong. No worries. I'm on it. <laughs> Job done. Let's go. We're all finished here. Hmm. Huh? Wait. I seem to have forgotten something very important. Right. The seal. My mental horse sent me a message telling me to strengthen the seal. <sighs> but what could the seal actually be? Hmm? Huh? Uh huh? Huh? What? Doesn't look like one, but yet, ether levels are shockingly high. A mix of ethereal and machinery? It's coming! Damn! It's like a wild animal! Yourself. Phew. 
That was a shock. Roxy, you've seen all sorts. What kind of monster is this? It doesn't look like an Ethereum, but it doesn't look like a corrupted human either. What's wrong, Bell? What in the world? Is it hacking her? Oh shit! Oh no! Hans, fight it! Come in! Their signals are gone, and ether readings are still increasing. Be careful, everyone! You hold. At least for me, the hardest boss in the game. Oh yeah, I think I remember you uh, having some. Oh shit! It absorbed all three. And it's so hard is probably the fact it doesn't have as many invincibility faces. Uh, the issue I've had is just it hits so frequently. In fact, it can stun lock you. Yeah, I noticed it stun locked me a few times. That can't be the end. Oh, duh. Whoa! President Sweepy! I will just say, it's so cute how she calls her Sweepy. Lost president. Yeah, you just have a uh, Grace Anthem and Ben. Pretty sick uh, avoidance there. I should be able to avoid some of these. I'm just gonna say, it feels like a lot of the time my counters aren't working. Come then. Demolition! 
Wow, you got out of the stunlock using your ultimate. Yep, that's called being smart, Lane. I need to try it sometime. That trick or being smart? I said that this was the, uh... Oh, boom, you got a third phase! Basically how I feel. I can't handle a third phase. The prototype? prototype to the rescue? It took a while to get this thing moving. Leave it to me. Come on, you punk. Go, resident. Kick its ass. <laughs> Mech battle! even was that thing? And this is where she goes, I need a vacation. Oh, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> How great was that? Pretty freaking great. Race to the source complete. Now, I was gonna say, I looked up a, uh, I looked up the VA, and uh, this is her first role according to Behind the Voice Actors. Damn! What? She knocking uh, Katie, it out of the park. Uh, Katie Cofield. Yeah, she knocking it out of the park. Well, look who's here. Yo, Roxy. What's up? What did the hospital Kalina, say? Did you go to the hospital? What were the results? Don't worry, I got the all clear. I kept saying I was fine, but my sister and Anton insisted I get a bunch of tests to the hospital just in case I have ether corruption. 
I understand why they're worried. You were in the prototype fighting that monster at close range for a long time. Oh, apparently, uh, we it's didn't not know if it could correct. cause any special harm to humans. She had one role in Fallout 76, but do we count that? <laughs> I don't think even they would want to count it compared yeah. to something like this. Definitely. <laughs> I guess you're right. <laughs> that, that is kind of fitting that she said that right after we said this. <laughs> Speaking of which, how goes the investigation into the monster in the prototype? Oh, that's actually the reason I came. Let's start with the monster. Public security called this morning, said they're making the necessary technical preparations to recover the monster's remains. Oh, that's good. The monster's remains are pretty unique, so I thought it'd take public security longer to deal with. Yeah, that's thanks to those two pubsick girls who came to investigate the scene. But we can't just wait around while they investigate the monster. Can I leave this thing to you, Phaethon? External memory unit. Still be clues contained. This chip-like thing is the external memory unit from the prototype's logic core you mentioned before, right? We don't talk about Bethesda, Shard says. Right, <laughs> exactly. Back then, when he found the monster was hidden in the monument, my dad must have driven the prototype there with the intention of destroying it. If that's the case, there may be some clues left within the external memory unit. But my dad used a special encryption process, so we have no way to read the data inside. So from what we assume so far, the father went away with the money to pay for the prototype so that Bellabog Industries would still have the rights and seemingly sacrificed himself to seal that monster away. From what we understand, yeah. I hate to ask, but can you help? There's no need to be so polite, Kaleda. Besides, we actually have our own reasons for wanting to look into the monster. We'll find a way to decrypt the data inside. Don't worry. Great. Then I'll leave the storage unit with you. I have a meeting with a supplier, so I'll be heading out. Take care. Good luck with the project. See you soon. I'll be waiting for some good news from you. It feels like Kaleida's demeanor has changed since we first met her. She's become a more mature president. I never expected what seemed like a simple commission to unearth Bellabog's past and involve such a mysterious monster. Bell, if I recall correctly, didn't you say something about your eyes feeling strange when that monster started emanating energy? Yeah, it didn't last long, but my eyes started to feel uncomfortable. There's definitely something off about where that monster came from. It might have something to do with that thing we've been trying to find out about. Anyway, the remains were handed over to public security. We have to find a way to decipher the information on this storage unit. Can you decipher it, Fairy? Fairy, since we've increased our electricity bill fivefold to keep you going, you should be able to decipher it, right? <laughs> I'd be happy to be of service, Master. However, given the need to decipher it quickly, your current system's computing power, and your electricity usage requirements, I do not recommend doing it here. There is a hacker on Internaut, codename Rain, who, judging by their resume, fits your current needs. This person has also done business with Nicole from the Cunning Hairs. Oh? Rain? I've heard of her, Bell. She's a first-rate proxy when it comes to cracking encryption. Since she's Nicole's acquaintance, we'll have an easier time contacting her. Nicole would never miss an opportunity to use her contacts to cover her debts, after all. <laughs>